Tonight, serious discussions are underway in Manila's corridors of power. Behind closed doors, key decision makers are weighing choices that could shape the nation's destiny for generations to come. The stakes are high, and the atmosphere is charged with anticipation. The Philippine Air Force is now setting its sights on the KF-21 Boramai Block II, a next-generation fighter jet that promises to redefine the country's defense capabilities for decades ahead. This isn't just about acquiring new hardware. It's about transforming the very foundation of the nation's air power. Picture the West Philippine Sea, a region fraught with tension and strategic importance. Now imagine a new powerful silhouette streaking across the sky, projecting strength and confidence over these contested waters. The Boramai, which means young hawk in Korean, could be the quantum leap the Philippines needs to truly safeguard its sovereignty. With advanced avionics, stealth features, and cutting-edge weaponry, it stands as a symbol of technological progress and national resolve. For a country that has long relied on aging F-A-50s and older platforms, the KF-21 would represent a dramatic leap. From modest capability to a credible deterrent that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with regional powers, it's a shift from simply maintaining the status quo to actively shaping the security environment. This isn't just a military upgrade, it's a bold statement of intent. It signals to allies and adversaries alike that the Philippines is serious about defending its skies and its people. The world is watching closely as the Philippines considers this bold step. Military analysts and regional observers are keenly aware that such a move could shift the balance of power in Southeast Asia. The sprawling Philippine archipelago faces complex and evolving security challenges with current air assets often stretched thin across vast distances. The need for a modern flexible air force has never been more urgent. The KF-21 Block II offers a comprehensive multi-role solution. Media, KF-21, Boramai. Block II, artists rendering in Philippine livery, advanced fighter jet with weapons loadout. It's capable of air-to-air -air combat, precision ground attack, and maritime strike missions, making it a true force multiplier for the Philippine Air Force. Its versatility and advanced systems are exactly what the Philippine Air Force needs to counter 21st century threats, from territorial defense to disaster response and beyond. The very consideration of such an advanced platform signals strategic foresight and a willingness to invest in the nation's long-term security. For pilots, it means flying with confidence and pride. For citizens, the KF-21 represents a promise of a safer, more secure future one where the nation can stand tall on the world stage. The message is clear, the Philippines is ready to invest in its security, strengthen its defenses, and stand tall among its neighbors. This could truly be the dawn of a new era for the armed forces of the Philippines, one defined by strength, innovation, and unwavering resolve. The KF-21 Barame is more than a jet, it's a symbol of transformation. Acquiring it would declare self-reliance and a revitalized national will. The Philippines is stepping up, ready to shape its own destiny and ensure regional stability. For the Air Force, the KF-21 would be a massive morale boost, validating years of dedication. It's a message, your service is valued, and the nation is investing in you. The Boramai would inspire national pride, much like a flag or Olympic athlete. It could spark interest in STEM, inspiring the next generation of pilots and engineers. The acquisition would drive modernization across the armed forces, raising standards and capabilities. The KF-21 is not just an endpoint, it's a catalyst for comprehensive transformation. The KF-21 Boramai is the result of South Korea's bold ambition, a vision to rise as a leader in advanced military aviation. Determined to build a world-class fighter, South Korea set out to create an aircraft that could stand shoulder to shoulder with the best in the world. For decades, the country relied heavily on imported jets, but a desire for self-reliance and technological independence sparked one of its most ambitious aerospace projects ever. Korea Aerospace Industries, or KAI, led the charge, navigating a maze of technical and financial challenges that would have deterred many. The project became a showcase of homegrown innovation, but it also embraced international collaboration, integrating proven engines and cutting-edge avionics from global partners to ensure reliability and performance. In 2022, the first prototype soared into the sky, marking a historic milestone for Korean aerospace and signaling a new era for the nation's defense industry. The Boramai isn't just another copy of existing jets, it's a unique design, carefully tailored to meet Korea's specific defense needs and ambitious export goals. 
This remarkable journey from being a consumer to becoming a producer of advanced fighters is exactly why the KF-21 has captured the attention of nations like the Philippines, who are seeking to modernize their own air forces. The KF-21 project is a shining example of how vision, ambition, and smart international partnerships can come together to create world-class results that benefit not just one nation, but many. The Boromai stands as a powerful testament to what's possible when determination meets innovation, inspiring others to dream bigger. For the Philippines, the KF-21 offers a glimpse of what their own future could hold, a future shaped by progress, partnership, and the pursuit of excellence. The KF-21's development is carefully staged in a series of progressive blocks, each new block introducing more advanced technology and capabilities than the last, reflecting years of innovation and engineering. Block 1 is designed as an air-to-air -air specialist, replacing older fighters with a leap in modern capability and giving air forces a significant edge in aerial combat. But Block 2 is the real game-changer, a true multi-role fighter, capable of dominating the skies, striking ground targets, and even engaging threats at sea, handling missions across land, sea, and air with equal precision and power. It brings a wider array of weapons options, advanced avionics, and enhanced stealth features, including the potential for an internal weapons bay, which helps reduce radar signature and increase survivability. This pushes the Boromai ever closer to true fifth-generation status. For the Philippines, Block 2 means skipping an entire generation of technology, fielding a jet that will remain relevant and effective for years, even decades to come. Instead of needing separate aircraft for each mission type, the KF-21 Block 2 is designed to do it all. It's about flexibility, survivability and future-proofing the Air Force against evolving threats and challenges. The Boromai's evolution is exactly what the Philippines needs to meet modern threats head-on. With Block 2, the PAF could leapfrog into the future of air combat, ensuring national security and regional stability for years ahead. The KF-21 is packed with cutting-edge tech. Its AESA radar, developed by Hanwha Systems, offers superior detection, tracking, and jamming resistance. Pilots gain unmatched situational awareness, seeing threats before being seen. Twin GE engines provide power, reliability, and safety, crucial for operations over vast waters. The Boromai can supercruise and sustain high-G maneuvers, giving it an edge in combat. Its arsenal includes long-range meteor missiles and, in Block 2, a full suite of air-to-ground and anti-ship weapons. The cockpit features a panoramic touchscreen and helmet-mounted display, reducing pilot workload and boosting combat effectiveness. Integration of Western and Korean munitions gives it mission flexibility. The Boromai's tech isn't just advanced, it's designed for the realities of modern warfare. For the Philippines, it's a leap into a new era of capability. The KF-21 Block II would transform the Philippine Air Force overnight. It would extend the PAF's reach, allowing effective patrol of the entire exclusive economic zone. The Boromai's stealth, sensors, and missiles create a powerful deterrent, raising the cost of aggression. This isn't about seeking conflict, but preventing it. The Philippines would become a more capable regional partner, enhancing alliances and interoperability. The KF-21 would shift the country from security consumer to security provider. Its anti-access area denial capability would protect the archipelago from threats at sea. For an island nation, air control means national security. The impact of the KF-21 goes beyond defense. It would cement a strategic partnership with South Korea, deepening diplomatic ties. Economically, the deal could spur local industry, maintenance, tech transfer, and high-skilled jobs. It would drive investment in STEM education, building a talent pipeline for the future. The Baramai effect could inspire a generation to pursue high-tech careers. National morale would soar, with the jet as a symbol of progress and pride. The KF-21 would unite the country behind a vision of strength and independence. It's more than a fighter. It's a national treasure. Analysts agree, the KF-21 would shift Southeast Asia's military balance. Its blend of capability and affordability makes it a pragmatic choice for the Philippines. The partnership with South Korea offers flexibility and potential tech transfer, advantages over Western suppliers. Experts caution. Buying the jet is just the start. The real challenge is building the ecosystem training, logistics, and infrastructure. You don't just buy a fighter jet, you buy into a complex system," one general notes. The Philippines must commit to a multi-decade investment in people and support. The potential is immense, but so is the challenge. 
Success will depend on sustained vision and effort. The path to a KF-21 fleet is filled with hurdles. Cost is the biggest. Jets, support, and weapons require billions in investment. Long-term sustainment costs, maintenance, upgrades, and training are just as daunting. Building human capital is critical. Pilots and crews need extensive, advanced training. Developing the necessary infrastructure will take time and resources. Geopolitically, the move could provoke reactions from neighbors, especially China. The government must balance ambition with diplomacy and fiscal discipline. The KF-21 is as much a diplomatic and economic challenge as a military one. The KF-21 Boramai could redefine the Philippine Air Force. It's about more than a new jet. It's a new mindset of ambition and capability. Imagine a force integrated with allies, flying advanced missions, and protecting the nation's future. The journey will be tough, but the process itself will modernize and unite the country. The Boramai is a symbol of hope that smart investment can secure the nation's place in the world. If realized, this vision will transform the Philippines into a respected regional power. The discussions today are about more than hardware, they're about the nation's next chapter. If the young hawk finds a home here, the skies over the Philippines will never be the same.